We will begin our exploration overlooking Young Field at Alumni Stadium, where the Middlebury Panther presides over one of the most splendid vistas on campus. This over-life-size bronze mascot is the creation of Lorenzo Guilieri and a gift of Mr. and Mrs. Philip H. Morse and their daughter Shelley, class of 1995. We installed it on the present site in the fall of 1997, atop a spectacular boulder recovered from a gravel quarry east of Rutland. Transport of this mighty stone was a dramatic undertaking, and we were fully aware of an analogy that existed between our task and one of the great engineering feats of the 18th century, when Catherine the Great, Empress of Russia, moved a colossal boulder from the Gulf of Finland to St. Petersburg to serve as the base for an equestrian statue of Peter the Great. We had distinct advantages unavailable to Catherine, a mighty crane, steel cables, and a huge flatbed truck. A talented team of stone workers from Stowe modified the boulder as unobtrusively as possible to accommodate the pose and dimension of the panther. They achieved their task so expertly that even from a hypernaturalist perspective, we read the ensemble as an animated feline who has just leapt to the crest of this rock, rather than as an artwork surmounting a base that was carved to support it. A panther has served as Middlebury's emblem since 1922, when a local merchant established a contest to choose an appropriate symbol for the college. The use of animals for symbolic and heraldic purposes is pretty much universal and serves as a constant throughout Western art. From antiquity until the age of reason, rulers routinely compared themselves to powerful animals like eagles or lions in order to enhance their stature. In the 19th and 20th centuries, American colleges and universities co-opted the practice choosing animals as mascots imbued with less symbolic urgency. Realism in sculpture was the norm from the Renaissance until the end of the 19th century. For most of the modern era, progressive taste preferred stylization and abstraction. But from the postmodern perspective of today, we can once again enjoy, without embarrassment, the masterful way in which Lorenzo Guilieri has manipulated the massive musculature and pose of our panther for dramatic and expressive purposes, as well as his success in evoking the snarling menace of a wild beast.